glory is its light, illuminated by the Lamb. And God himself will wipe the tears from every weeping eyes. No death, no pain, no mourning cry, and every tear will dry. And God himself will dwell with them, the new Jerusalem. And he himself will walk with them, the new Jerusalem. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Revelation 2.7. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that hath an ear, let him hear. It doesn't say, he that thinks he has an ear, let him hear. It doesn't say, he that hath an ear. It says, he that hath an ear, let him hear. Let him hear. Not anyone else. He that has an ear, let him hear. Not everyone has this kind of an ear. Not everyone has been given one of these new ears by God. Ears that are circumcised and opened up by the Holy Spirit. Gill's commentary puts it, Those who hear with understanding, affection, and faith, who try what they hear and approve, embrace, and retain that which is good. The Lord says, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches. The Lord has a way of saying this when he speaks in a parabolic way. Not everyone is given to understand these things. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. So do you, do you find that you've understood, tried, and retained these things that have been spoken to you this weekend? Have you accepted the exhortation to continue in faith? When Jesus has spoken, have you listened intently to his words? If you have, it is just another blessed confirmation that you have an ear that hears. Amen. You actually have been given the ability to listen to Jesus. Amen. How good is that? Yeah, amen. How can someone listen if they cannot hear what is being said? So the devil has many tactics to get us to doubt. And one of them is that we, do you really belong to God? See, the devil isn't a bad liar. Okay? He's a very good liar. He's good at what he does. He's actually the most effective liar around. But you see, that's because he's the father of all lies, isn't he? See, we need to believe and to know that we are blessed if we hear and retain what Jesus says. Amen. Jesus said in Revelation 1-3, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep retain those things which are written therein for the time is at hand you see the truth prevails against the lie of satan and only the truth jesus said i am the way the truth and the life so it seems like jesus is going to be at the center of this okay how can the power of darkness have its way with you if you're wearing the armor of light so are you walking in the truth are you bearing up? Are you enduring? Are you holding fast to the doctrine of Christ? Do you love what he loves and do you hate what he hates? Are you being watchful, faithful? Are you in love with Jesus? Just look at all the churches that Jesus has assessed here and ask yourself, if Jesus came back right now, would he be happy with what he sees in you? Will he find faith on the earth? If there is a, if there's correction to be made, you have to be able to hear Jesus. The Lord desires you to hear. All that he has for you to hear is for your benefit. Our brother Matthew Henry writes in his commentary, How tender Christ is of his faithful servants. He lays nothing upon his servants but what is for their own good. So I'm calling you this morning to really believe that you belong to Jesus and that he always brings home those who belong to him. Yeah. He's going to say, they're all here. All, everyone that you've yeah. given me, God, they're all here. Yeah. Okay. 
You see, if you don't make it, then you really didn't believe that. Everyone who believes will listen yeah. to the one who holds everything in his hands. Amen. You can you can see clear through Satan's lies when you are fully convinced of this. Tell him no. Say I serve a mighty God who's able. He's able to deliver me. Yeah. I'm not ashamed. We can we can we can bear with what Paul said when he says, I'm not ashamed for I know whom I have believed and I'm persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. Amen. So he that hath an ear, let him hear. Amen. Let him hear.